Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you all of my three metal halide bulbs turning on at once. Why you may ask? Because today is my first year anniversary of knowing these types of high intensity discharge bulbs used for street light and parking lot fixtures, along with floodlights. Now, before I turn all of these three metal halide bulbs on at once, I am going to give a little bit of information about all these types of bulbs, like the lumen output that they produce, and the average lifetime that they have, and of course the ballast type. So anyways, here on the far left is my Philips 175 watt metal halide bulb. I've had this bulb since April of 2019, so that's seven months, so it's quite a long time. So as you can see, the bulb is in great condition, as you can see. And the ballast that it uses is the M57, and of course, this bulb has an average life of 10,000 hours. I used about 2,000 hours on it, so it still has 8,000 hours left to go before it burns out. This bulb produces 14,000 lumens, so it's pretty bright, and there's also a medium-based version of a metal halide bulb as well for a 175 watt ballast. So that's why there's an extra socket right beside this fixture. So here in the middle is my GE 250 watt metal halide bulb that I got over the summer of 2019, so that was in July. So I've had this bulb for four months, so that is quite a long time too. So as you can see, the ballast is quite big, as you can see. And this is the M58 ballast, and it operates on a 250-watt metal halide bulb of any kind. So as you can see, this bulb has an average life of 10,000 hours and a lumen output of 19,000 lumens. So sort of bright, but it's not as bright as a Philips 250-watt metal halide bulb. So here on the far right is my GE 400-watt metal halide bulb. I got this bulb back in March of 2019, so I've had this bulb for eight months, so that is quite a long time. So as you can see, the bulb is in great condition, and um, this bulb has an average life of 15,000 hours and a lumen output of 33,100 lumens, so that is extremely bright. And there's the ballast, it's the M59. It's kind of off screen, but still, it's still a bright bulb. So, before I turn all of these three bulbs on, I'm only doing this for entertainment purposes only because these arc tubes can explode pretty violently at the end of life. So, it's not my fault that you have a pretty bad metal halide bulb that exploded. Blame the metal halide bulb itself. So, anyways, these bulbs have a color temperature of 4000K or cool white and they are not dimmable. If they were dimmable, that would be cool. So, all of these bulbs are probe start. There's also a pulse start version of these bulbs as well, made by different companies around the United States. So anyways, without further ado, we are going to give these three bulbs a whirl in three, two, one. Now for some reason, every time I turn on my GE 400 watt metal halide bulb, it always flashes, and it's probably due to the halide salts trying to ionize in the arc tube. It's like sodium iodide and sodium bromide, which are just trying to vaporize into the arc stream. So that's why the GE bulb, that is a 400 watt, it flashes the most, which is pretty crazy. 
And the Phillips bulb is at full brightness, so I guess the Phillips bulb is the winner. It's not that it's a contest, but the Phillips bulb warmed up the quickest out of all of the rest. And the GE bulb is starting to vaporize all of the halide salts right now. And for some reason, my GE 400 watt bulb takes the longest to warm up, probably due to the fact that the halide salts are trying to ionize and trying to vaporize into the arc stream. And all three metal halide bulbs are at full brightness, and it's super bright in here. I'm not going to pick up the camera to show you around the room because I just want to keep the camera stable as possible, just because this is an anniversary video. So, yeah, you get what I mean. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed all of my three metal halide bulbs turning on at once for this anniversary video. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you all very much for watching.